That's right, they are. And our sports editor, Alistair Durden, is at the county ground now. There he is. Evening, you two. Yeah, there's a definite whiff of cautious optimism in the air in this part of Wiltshire. And for the first time in a while, the club and the supporters are jointly buying the county ground. We're going to have more news on that probably early next month. And on the pitch, well, things are going great. Seven points out of nine. The football is really good and the fans are lapping it up. The way he's trying to get us to play, it's a lot more thoughtful. It's a lot more football, a lot less hoofball. It's, it's, it's good. We're really happy. Looks very, very promising. We just need to take a few more of the chances that we're creating because we are creating chances. When you're on a tight budget and you bring in players that a lot of us hadn't heard of and they start like they started, no big hopes yet, but certainly very positive. Well, I've been joined by former Swindon defender Dave Hockaday. Dave, it's very early days, but you'd rather be top than bottom, and I'm hearing encouraging things about this team. Yeah, it's been a great start for Swindon. Um, optimism always reigns supreme at the beginning of the season, but it seems to have a little bit more substance uh, this season. They've had a great start. They're playing really good football. They're very young. They're very hungry. There's lots of pace. Uh, and there is lots of optimism around for this season. Yeah, they're always pitfalls, so what could be their undoing? What do they need to make sure they keep doing? Well, I think at the, if, if I'm an opponent, I'd be thinking, OK, they're good on the counter-attack, so let's deny them space. So I think the test will come if they keep their momentum going and they're top of the league for a while, then teams might come and defend and deny them space behind, play deep, and then we're going to have to see whether they can be patient and unlock um, those packed defences. Well, it's good to get the momentum back and get the fans back because it's been a few years, hasn't it, since they've had a successful team to cheer on. Yeah, too long, but Swindon have always been that uh, perennial yo-yo club. Uh, hopefully this year will be the one when they finally get back into the land of the living and Division 1 and then hopefully beyond that in time to come. You fancy them for three points tonight? I do, and I, I fancy them strongly for to, to be getting promotion this year as well. Excellent. We hope you're right, Dave. Thank you very much. Well, another of Dave's former clubs, Forest Green Rovers, are also unbeaten at the start of the season. They are away to Port Vale tonight. Elsewhere, Bristol City going to Derby. And as you see, Bristol Rovers got a home game against Tramir. Still looking to score their first league goals of the season. We'll have all the results in our late bulletin. And Dave Hockaday will be on BBC Wiltshire tonight if you want to listen to the full match commentary. Good stuff, Ali. Many thanks for that update.